Hi, my name is Eugene Stickland. I'm a playwright, journalist, and educator here in Calgary. In 2009, I was asked to be part of a program here at Alberta Business and Educational Services, otherwise known as ABUS. This is a program for foreign trained healthcare professionals to allow them the opportunity to get into our healthcare system here as medical device reprocessing technicians. They begin by having three months of English with me, then three months of the nuts and bolts of the program, and then finally a three-month practicum in one of our hospitals. This has been an incredibly successful program. We've had 130 people come through it, 97% have completed the program, and 87% of them have found work in Alberta hospitals and other healthcare facilities. It's, it's a program that's uh, run in cooperation and with the support of Alberta Health Services, Alberta Human Services, and the federal government. It's been very successful and we hope that it's going to continue. We've had a reunion here recently and I wanted to share some of the stories from some of our students with you now. Maria came to Canada from Nicaragua. She was actually the top high school student in the entire country one year. Um, she's been working as a medical device reprocessing technician for three years now since her graduation from Avis. Well, I came to this country eight years ago and I was in my country a medical doctor. I have a specialization in internal medicine and I, have, I was the chief of the internal medicine department in a big hospital in Nicaragua. When I came here, I couldn't find a job. I looked uh, for a job in nursing aid, I looked for a job in medical assistant, even in cleaning. Even in cleaning, I couldn't find a job. So I found um, um, ABIS, I found this course, and I started to study, started processing, and now, three years after, I'm working as a surgical processor in a big hospital. I love my job. I found that now I have a profession again. Economically, I have done very, very well. You know, I have a car, a new car, beautiful Toyota. And also, now I live in a townhouse and I'm planning to, to buy a new house. And my daughter is doing great, so I feel like now I have a future for my daughter, for me, and I have a profession. So I want to thank you to ABIS, you know, for, for changing, you know, my, my life. Tarun was a surgeon in India and he talked to me about some of the problems that immigrants commonly face when they move to a new country. I was a, I was a surgeon by profession and I completed my orthopedics training in India. After that I was working at a, at a spine and a joint center in India. I worked there for three years. When I started this program at AVS, frankly speaking, I was very scared. And apart from that, we did our, completed our course and that helped me at least find a decent job here in Canada, in Calgary. I got a job in Foothills Hospital. And I can speak on behalf of my other colleagues and my students also, that uh, they also feel the same thing, that this program has given us the confidence to go out in the Canadian society in a much more confident way, rather than if we had done it all by ourselves. Yao came to Canada from the Ivory Coast. He was uh, the top HIV AIDS researcher in that country and I caught up with him at the reunion. I can say ABS is, uh, was a second chance for me. ABS helped me uh, rebuild my life because uh, I need to get something. Uh, so ABS was this pathway for me. I mean, ABS helped me to get my degree and be able to work in an hospital. This is a great thing for me. It was really great. The best thing that I had uh, the last two years was coming to ABS and get uh, the training as a SP SPT. Nino had been in Canada for almost 20 years when he found ABUS. He was a dentist uh, back home in Bosnia. Um, ABUS made an incredible difference in his life and allowed him to get on with his life in a very meaningful way. My, my life uh, changed how people say 180 degree because uh, I was working in the metal field like metal worker like a welder or grinder and uh, the most scary thing in that time was uh, company is one period busy and after that shortly stop to be busy and you are going on unemployment and 
go to try to find another job and always been very uh, hard. And my dream all of these years since I came to Canada was to have some Canadian uh, tickets or finish some school or, or license. And uh, when I finished and uh, graduated uh, this school in November 2011, uh, I, uh, I was hired in uh, Red Deer, a uh, full-time position, and uh, I was so, so happy. I'm, I'm happy now because I'm working uh, like uh, MDR, Medical Device Reprocessing Technician. Rehab came to Canada from Egypt. She was a trauma doctor back home, um, but she has adopted her new country so entirely. I think she's on her way to becoming one of the great Canadians of all time. Um, I was really frustrated, but then I heard about this uh, this course, so I um, I came and joined this class. I was so happy, really. I made new friends. I had a Canadian family. This is very nice to be involved in um, this Canadian experience, Canadian community, and to be like. Um, I think they would have me now. Uh, that I had this, uh, this experience and it is documented. <laughs> Mitchell McCormick is the director at ABUS. He's uh, seen a lot of programs come and go. He's developed a lot of programs over the years. ABUS is a very dynamic place. I think that this program, though, holds a very special place in his heart and I asked him why. Well, the program is really a win-win-win program and while that's cliche, it's really true in this case. The students get back their self-respect, their self-confidence. They're no longer working at a menial job. They're now a valued member of the healthcare team working in a medical setting, and they're providing for their family, which is really why they came to Canada. From the hospital's perspective, Alberta Health Services, uh, these people are knowledgeable, hardworking, mature, polite. Uh, they know their job's important. They treat it like that, and that improves uh, patient safety. They really are ideal employees in the true sense of the word. Uh, from a taxpayer's perspective, and I am one, um, most of our students come in are unemployed, marginally attached to the workforce, receiving social assistance or other uh, social subsidies. Uh, after they graduate, they're employed, uh, earning an income, paying taxes, contributing to society, and that's a win-win-win to me. Lisa is an educator with Alberta Health Services, and she was involved in the early days of the program here at Avis. I asked her her thoughts on why this program has been so successful. In the end, Canada gets enriched, you know, Calgary gets enriched, Alberta gets enriched, and Alberta Health Services gets enriched because of the quality of people that you're bringing in. I think you'll agree with me after meeting a few of our students and hearing their stories and a few of the other people who have been involved with the program, that this has been a very successful and beneficial program for all involved.